La journée est classée noire sur tout le territoire. Bison Futé appelle à la prudence et recommande de ne pas circuler entre midi et 16h, autrement dit, les heures les plus chaudes de la journée. Si, si, bambino. Due euro cinque. Il gatto non poi mai. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire Le chat ne peut pas fumer. Abbiamo un allarme de bourgeois. Stiamo cercando di visionare le immagini. Welcome to Italy. Why are we in Italy? You might remember the video of me bringing my Audi R8, dropping it off to have a few last changes made on it so that we have the final version of the Audi R8. And well, it is finished. Now, some of the things have gone to plan and some haven't at all, basically, but I wanted to pick it up anyways. And yeah, show you the car. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm getting the R8 back. We're in the C class. We're in Italy. We're 10 minutes away. Let's do this. Ciao. Hello. <laughs> what? Ça me donne mes tours minutes, ma vitesse. Attends, je peux changer. You like it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Il problema è dirglielo che uno era ovale. No, yeah, that's not good at all. Shit. Let's go home now. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera up in the car so that you can see the steering wheel and we can also talk about what's happened with the wheels. Because, yes, I know you're all wondering where are the rims. I will explain it all in the car. A la prochaine. Merci. Right, let's see what this steering wheel does when I switch the car on. That's so cool. 3, 2, 1. Exhaust open. Oui, oui. Let's do this thing, driving through Italy. Now I've got the cam, the phone actually it is, up on a little mount, which hopefully isn't going to make too much squeaking noise. So bear with me, but you have literally the point of view of what I am seeing right now. And what I'm noticing straight away are these little lights. Look, if I change down, shifter lights on a manual. Now, I was skeptical whether that would work or not. If you've been around and watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I left this decision in terms of uh, which steering wheel I would have, whether it would have the LED lights or not, up to you guys. And the main votes came back with the LEDs. And I was like, is that gonna work on a manual car? I don't know. And within two minutes now of driving it, I absolutely love it. Now, I love the way it looks, obviously, but I also love the way it feels. This is a company called SW Custom, who can do this on uh, pretty much any car. And they put this together for me. Now we went for Alcantara all round, as you can see, and carbon fiber on the extremity, so round bottom, I mean on top obviously the uh, square bottom, the flat bottom uh, steering wheel that you get on all R8s actually. And now a lot of modern cars, but it was kind of started at first on the R8. And obviously, so please go ahead. Also the LEDs and the little display as well, right here, which gives me right now my RPM and my speed in kilometers, which is so useful because I've got the speedo here, but it's in miles per hour because this is a right-hand drive car. Look at this. How cool is that? How it lights up. Anyways, yeah, it was in miles per hour, but now I have it in kilometers, which is really actually just practical for around here. But by clicking this button, I can go through, I can see things like, you know, what my temperatures, my battery voltage. Oh, we also just put a brand new battery on this car because if you watched the last video, you know that uh, the battery was struggling a little bit. So brand new battery, it's got, I mean, I don't really know what this is. Percentage usage, is that like how much of the, oh yeah, that's how much of the power I'm using. That's pretty cool to have. Then we got fuel, I think that's maybe my live like miles per gallon. Let's see if I accelerate, if that goes down. Oh, no, oh yes. I'm not entirely sure, I'm gonna need to do a bit more research on what that is. And this button here starts 
a stopwatch. So it was started there. Maybe I press it, press and hold. Does that put it back to zero? Oh no, let's put whatever that was back to zero. I'm gonna need to explore this a little bit. Oh, settings. What's this? Guys, we're learning together. Okay, not too sure what that's doing. Need to make sure I don't get lost either. Ah, what have I done? I'm on a menu. Don't know how it works. Press and hold maybe? Okay, so we're back here. Right, uh, this is the one I'm gonna stick with because it gives me my speed and everything that I kind of need. Now the shifter lights come in around, yeah, just under 3,000 it seems like. You get that green light and then the more you kind of go up in the revs. Okay, if we go into first gear, let's see if we rev it out, the engine's now warm. If we rev it out a bit, are we gonna get all the way to the top? That means we need to go to 9,000 RPM. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. So it goes green, orange, red. Oh, that's so sick. And it's so satisfying actually with the manual. It works really well. I think you guys can probably see me change the gear down here. And hopefully you can hear it as well because the noise this thing makes. I mean, listen, that noise right there is just so sick. Cool to also to have digitally your RPM. Anyway, that is the steering wheel. There are then the exhaust tips, carbon fiber exhaust tips, which was a really nice gift from Zenrage um, exhausts who made the exhaust system for my car. So that is really appreciated and looks so cool on the outside. It hasn't changed the noise too much, at least that I can notice. And you know, we've already got the full exhaust system on it, but it looks really nice and it complements actually the rear uh, diffuser, which is in carbon really nicely as well. So, yes, very, very happy. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, and trying to follow in the C class behind, which is going to be an interesting one for him. Key toll. Oh, this is never easy in a right hand drive. I'm going to try and lean over. I'm going to be able to do this. Okay, window open. Bear with me, guys. We've made it. Right. It's funny how much of a change a steering wheel can make to just the way you feel. We also opted on this one to do the airbag. So usually um, you keep the standard airbag and then you've got the Alcantara and the carbon around. And it's an extra option um, to do the airbag in Alcantara and with the stitching as well. Um, but I opted for that because I thought it'd look weird if we still had the uh, kind of original material on the airbag and then full Alcan uh, Alcantara everywhere else. So. Yeah, opted to have it all done, and I'm really glad I did that now. Uh, red stitching, why is that? Because I figured whatever I wrap the car, red always kind of goes with it. So that's why I went for the red stitching. That may have, you know, create some split opinions, but I actually really like it. Bonjour. Oh, got to pay the toll. We've also got all of the um, original, let's see if we put this on, buttons. Um, so, so I've got the original steering wheel for this car. This is a completely new steering wheel that we bought online with the airbag and everything and did all the work, the customization on this. So I didn't do any of the work actually on my original wheel. So I still got that in the boot. I still got the original exhaust system, the original exhaust tips. Um, so everything can go back to original in this car, which is what I always wanted. But it is an original R8 wheel. So all the buttons still work as they usually would. Now then. Gonna change that. Let's get some noise. Whoa! That sounds pretty cool. Listen. Oh. Lights are so cool. Go to that V10 sounds good. Right, the question now is what happened to the wheel set? Now I don't know if you would have seen them already, if there'll be overlays now, um, but the wheels didn't fit on the car. So I bought um, new rims and Michelin, I'll put the Instagram right now, very kindly sent me um, some new tires uh, and I only ever wanted to have those because those are the best on this car I read all sorts of forums 
So I wanted to have the Michelins. They very kindly sent me a pair of those, a, set, a pair, a set, whatever you really say. Um, we got it on, put a wheel on the car, and I'll show you photos now. It basically did not fit. And the wheels, one of them actually wasn't completely round. It had some pretty serious damage on it. Um, so quite disappointing, to be honest. And it, we could, I could have driven the car with the wheels like the way they were, but um, it wasn't particularly safe. There was a risk that it would um, hit the wheel arches when I was either turning the steering wheel a lot or going over bumps and rip the wheel arches off. So I made the call in the end that I uh, didn't want to take that risk. Also because, you know, in case anyone else is driving this car at any point, um, I don't want to feel responsible that it had kind of, yeah, the, not the perfect wheels. So whilst they looked really cool, I went through all the trouble. Um, I bought them, it wasn't a, a brand deal. Um, so quite frustrating that they didn't fit on the car. I'm gonna send them back now um, to the company uh, that, that uh, sold them to me. And I don't know what I'm gonna do now uh, with the wheels because it was obviously something that took such a big delay. Um, so I wish as much as you guys that we had the wheels on the car already. But unfortunately, that was not possible. It wasn't meant to be. And yeah, so that's basically that. I really wish I had something else to tell you. I haven't ordered a new set. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just a little bit bummed out that it didn't work out, to be completely honest with you. One of those things I was so excited to see the wheels on the car. You know, I, I we got in them here, we'd shipped them, we'd sourced the right tires for the car. We'd done everything we needed to do. And then they didn't bloody fit. So very frustrating, but it's the way things are. Anyways, as you can tell, we're now going through some roadworks. I can probably just give you a little... Oh, that sounds good. How fast are we going? And, okay, we are respecting the speed. So yeah, that's that, guys. We're going to get back to Monaco now. And uh, I just want to show you the exhaust tips one more time. So just quickly, this is what I was talking about. We've got the carbon fiber, so with the Zenrage logo, which complements this rear diffuser so well. And I really like how it's kind of like a carbon surround and then you put the actual tip in it. I think they've done a really good job with this. So thank you to them. And on that jolly note, while the car's still spotless, we're gonna put it away and I'm gonna take it out for a lovely drive tomorrow and maybe film it for you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching this video as always. Please subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers, bye bye.